No combat boots, no camouflage, and the most dangerous weapons out here are sheep shears. This is Ag Extension Agent training. And although all of these men are college graduates, this training gives them a firm grasp of a few agriculture basics. We have studied more things in the university, but uh, we also renew the information and we also bring all of the information in the practice. Uh, it was very good training. By providing training to Ag Extension agents in Gardez, the Directorate of Agriculture, Irrigation and Livestock is providing the same training to farmers across southeast Afghanistan. We had uh, 14 districts all around Praktia, and they, when they go to their uh, districts, they apply the, the new methods of uh, animal husbandry, agriculture, apiculture, and all of uh, things which they learn from that uh, course. Part of the course included showing the agents an example of a simple chicken coop and pointing out which breeds of chicken are better for meat and which are better egg layers. Our goal here is to help them uh, better sustain themselves. Don't think about how am I going to eat today. Uh, I have these chickens, I can kill them and eat today or tomorrow. Well, what are you going to do long term? But perhaps the highlight of the training was the sheep shearing. No modern electric shears here, just good old-fashioned hand power. It would be great to come here with the idea of electricity is, is abundant and water is free-flowing, and, and that's just not the case. So I think our goal uh, with everything is um, keeping it simple, keeping it easy, but also how to sustain themselves. Armed with the simple basics, these Ag Extension agents are on the path toward improving agricultural processes in Afghanistan and being able to sustain those improvements one sheep at a time. Army Sergeant Sarah Goss, Gardez, Afghanistan.